There's a level of improvisation. Uh, improvisation means that there is a heightened preparation uh, which leads to improvisation. No one should ever think that improvisation means no preparation. It means that there is a level of preparation where you are sensitive to what is happening in the moment but also sensitive to what's leading up to the moment. For example, the shooting in Charleston. I had prepared a message up to this moment. My father and myself, we preach every year Father's Day, and we were in the wake of this incredible tragedy in our community. We had been preparing a sermon for six weeks because it's a tandem sermon, we have to do it together. But in the wake of that moment, we knew that we had to address what was on everyone's heart. So all of the preparation had to be thrown out uh, the window and then draw and then draw on uh, other sources, the sources of our pain, the source of the scripture. And my father had the, the wherewithal to say, let's approach this text from this vantage point and look at this text from this vantage point and look at all of these historical similarities. So within three days, we're pulling together this message. And then as we are presenting it, moments happened in that message that were not planned whatsoever. It was truly the spirit singing. And we were talking about prophetic grief, not pathetic, not being pathetic, but prophetic grief grief, not empathetic, not empathy, not sympathy, uh, but what does prophetic grief look like to be able to work while tears are flowing from your eyes, uh, to be able to have uh, a bifurcated vision of being throwing the dirt on the casket and at the same time speaking truth to power. That's prophetic grief. And that came as a result of that moment and all of these pieces from experience to study to currently what was happening in the news and needing to speak to the needs of the congregation. Couldn't get going to pulpit. I felt that there's no way you could go into a pulpit on that Sunday and not address a mass shooting that was targeted at nine prayer warriors in Charleston, South Carolina at the Emanuel AME Church a church that was on a street that was named after a Confederate luminary. I mean, there was just so many ironies and contradictions in that moment that needed to be lifted up to, to the people of God.